Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So first things first, Chinese stock market down on the 5% today, um, which isn't really massively spelling over onto the European markets that aggressively, but it is starting to, to hit in. Australia's down, Hong Kong's down, Chinese 50, unsurprisingly, is down as well. Um, and a lot of indecision in the US. Some real mixed data yesterday. We had the um, Empire Index just came in at 10-year lows, which was absolutely diabolical. Then you had US home builder sentiment was at uh, like a 10-year high. Uh, so a real mixed bag. But this is where we currently stand with the US 30. Um, volatile session off the lows, 17.361 bounce. A failure to break 17,561 as potential resistance, which also coincides with that 21 period SMA. We would have had a bullish cross over there in the MACD, but the other technicals didn't really are still relatively neutral. Still a lot further um, to go before we get to any of those overbought or oversold sections on there. So moving on then to the UK 100. Uh, almost breaking through the bottom of this uh, symmetrical triangle formation that managed to just stay above there yesterday so we didn't get a break we didn't get a, a close to, to break that which would have opened up 64.15 um, but not a great start to the morning um, as oil is down to 41.50 uh, and copper is down near six and a half year lows as well so commodity is not looking that great um, the dollar making a little bit of actual gains against the euro and the sterling uh, not so much against the Japanese yen, we're still running about 124.40 right now. Um, but we are towards the bottom of the range on the UK 100. This looks potentially vulnerable uh, to another technical break, but it's not had a close below the symmetrical um, support level as of yet. So moving on to Japan 225, um, kind of floating around in between two ranges, just above the two moving averages, 21 and 55 period, with 28.68 still being the potential resistance level to, to beat. Other technicals are pretty flat, but with Japan 225, it's really just a proxy for dollar yen, uh, and dollar yen again, uh, 124.42 is a potential uh, resistance slash support. Um, those moving averages now are beginning to move up just behind it, uh, with the 21 period looking to act, act with the last five sessions anyway act as uh, as definitive uh, potential support levels on there. Other technicals relatively neutral, not yet oversold yet either, um, but the dollar doesn't know what it's going to do right now. If we actually have a look at um, the market calendar on here, you'll be able to see that the um, the Fed uh, index here was expected to come in at 5 uh, and actually came in at minus 14.9 and that's um, that's quite a, a relatively new bit of data that, that, that got, um, that's been created but it's an important manufacturing index aspect on there and um, the US home builder data came out uh, much better than expected so as I said a real mixed bag of uh, stuff there. So looking at West Texas crude, we're breaking below, well, we've firmly broken below $42 now. Uh, we've almost broken the, the tip of this doji formation right here, which would be $41.40. We're just like 15 cents away from there right now. $35 is the next potential support level. Uh, and I think as soon as we uh, break, if we do break below uh, 4140, uh, that's going to be one of the lowest levels that we've seen in West Texas for uh, for quite some time. Uh, and that might accelerate to the downside as China is obviously a big buyer of uh, of, of crude and um, with their stock market is under increased pressure and um, their macro data just in free fall right now. Uh, a lot of traders are positioning themselves for um, you know, longer term depression of demand for West Texas. So looking at gold, kind of gold should be giving you a bit of an idea as to, uh, and obviously US um, interest rate markets as well should be giving you a bit of an idea about the possibility of a September rate hike, which seems to uh, lurch one day from being absolutely to the next day to not at all. Uh, but gold is slowly grinding up here. Um, the long-legged candles are indicative of the fact that each time it tries to get uh, tries to push up on any kind of positive momentum, that rates uh, rate hike is going to be delayed, uh, it gets pushed right back down again. But I think what um, most commentators are, are, are trying to kind of throw out there is that even if there is a rate hike this year, that the trajectory of uh, future rate hikes will obviously be quite low anyway. Um, the longer term potential resistance on gold is 11.37. Uh, we need to get back above the tip of this candle here, around about 11.26 before that looks like a possibility. And that 55 period um, uh, SMA probably over, over time if this just continues to just slowly kind of grind, grind higher that might coincide with that potential resistance and that's going to be a tough one for gold to break. So finishing up with your dollar and GBP USD so your dollar uh, fourth day down in a row 
um, this could be the start of uh, what we call three black crows depending on how much further this goes down um, we would have to see a, a body of a candle bigger than the previous days but that would see an acceleration to the downside but we do have a 21 period SMA not that far away uh, one spot 11 uh, would be acting as potential resistance and we've also got the uh, 55 period SMA which is looking like it could be pretty decent as a potential resistance as well so um, uh, the, the euro not looking too strong this morning um, and that's currently where we stand with that and if we finish up with uh, GBP USD uh, very negative day yesterday bearish engulfing pattern um, down towards the end of the range today as well down below both moving averages uh, next potential support one spot 54 but I can completely imagine us just continuing to oscillate around 156 for the next couple of sessions so actually 9.30 today lots of big UK data you've got CPI, PPI and RPI um, make sure you have your alarm set for that if you're watching this uh, at 9.30 UK time um, and then you've got uh, a whole bunch of uh, housing data from the US later on and then obviously on to Wednesday you've got uh, US CPI that's going to be a big uh, date release for uh, the US and then you've got your crude oil inventories as well so keep your eye on the chart for make sure you make insights part of your later going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next